Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about organizing the project. And if you do it, I think you get uh, more than 100% faster with sculpting uh, than before. Okay, so we need an example. So here you see this mesh here. At the moment the sphere is selected and you see here in the hierarchy it's called sphere 3. So and I want to find in the hierarchy now the pupil here but I can't find it because everything is called sphere, 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 box. Yeah, where's my pupil? So yeah, I can select it here but in the hierarchy I can't find it. So, um, so this one here is the ear or this one is a tooth. Um, so no names and yeah, it's not good. So um, the next mesh here is the same thing here and everything is organized. So here the head and the neck. So the second one here, when I press here the ear, eye, pupil, teeth, and um, yeah, everything has a name and yeah, and you find everything. So when I want the pupil here, I sel yeah, select this. So, okay, the next thing here is when you Boolean your whole mesh here. So everything is connected and um, it's now only one mesh. So you want to start here to do something. Here is something uh, I say here. I want to paint. I want to paint inside the mouth. So here. So I, oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a hard job. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah or the, the pupil here, I want to paint this one black. And um, so yeah, I have to paint here. Oh, yeah, it's a hard job. So this mesh here is also, um, yeah, it's voxel remesh and yeah where are sorry I have to select it so so you see here now I selected the mesh so and I want to do the same thing here I want to paint the pupil so here I have a organized mesh so everything has a, a separate layer and I, when I want to um, paint the pupils here, I set, um, I select here the three dots menu and uh, press on the, on the mask here. And then I select the invert option for the mask. And then I set paint. So, paint all. So now my pupils have a, a nice color. So, the next thing is here I can I want to paint um, inside here uh, the mouth and I go to my layers and I mask here my teeth so now they are protected and now when I select the paint tool so I go to um, I add a new layer and call this layer mouth inside. So so I can paint here without um, yeah looking. I have 
to do something wrong. So I can go here in this direction, no problem, because um, there is a, a delete layer tool. So here I can delete um, the things I don't want. So the next thing here is you, you created here a layer, a mouse inside. So now it's possible to uh, mask the inside of the mouse. So yeah, you have control of everything. So when you want to um, paint here around the eyes, you can here mask the eyes. So now the mouth is protected and so create a new layer and uh, rename it as skin. So now feel free to uh, paint the skin. like you want. Okay, so here with the box is the same here. So you have control of every um, sculpted object on the on this mesh here. Um, you can here select the, the mask stars or here is a heart. Yes. Okay, and how to do this? So let's add a sphere. The first thing, you can rename it here, for example, as a head. Then we can validate this object and yeah, always use layers, press add layer and here you can call it face. So when you now use a move brush, and you create here um, such a small face, so yeah, and here on the layer, everything is recorded. So, yes, and when you use here, um, for example, the um, insert tool, and you insert here a sphere, something like this, then call the sphere eye and the mirror also eye. And place here the eyes in the hierarchy beneath the head. So the head is now linked with the eyes. So, and when you use here the eyes, create a layer when you have validated the object. So, 
add a layer. Rename it. I mask. And here, so set the the color and um, paint all. So check check the mesh mask works. So fine. And if you do it for every object, you have complete control of the the whole thing. Here, when you now um, select this mesh here, and you boolean the whole thing. Sorry. You find here the the layers here in yeah in the in the layers menu, and here it's now possible to mask the eyes or invert the mesh. So you find everything you need. So. On this mesh, for example, um, I select the head, I subdivide it once two times more, or maybe four times. So when we sculpt on the mesh, so create a new layer and add um, and give it a name. So stamps, and I use now um, the stamp tool. With the alpha, and I choose this heart here. So you see here at the moment, I need a higher intensity for the heart, something like this. So set always the the brush to. Um, to painting. So when you paint here and on your layer now the mask should work. So you see here you get um, a blurry blurry mask. So if you need a higher mask intensity on the layer increase the paint intensity. So now test the layer and the mask should work fine. So here this set it um, to a high value and now you have control here with a color mask or the layer color mask. So now it's possible to stamp here all over the object your hearts and mask this invert the mask so and if you do something new create a layer rename it color hurts and paint So, and now if you remesh the whole thing here, for example, a voxel remesh, you should have control of everything here, the color of the hearts, the stamps, Yeah, on the face I didn't uh, um, do a color and um, the eyes, so I can mask the eyes. Oh, we forgot one eye. Okay, so you see, if you organize everything, um, 
you have nice control of everything. So have fun with sculpting and ciao.